Good morning. Welcome back to Road Notes. Good morning. We are in uh, day, well, actually Ormond Beach. Back in Florida. We're back in Florida. So yeah. uh, when we came back from North Carolina, we decided to cut the drive trip short by about two hours. So we've been staying for the last week in uh, Daytona slash Ormond Beach. Beach. It's an encore property at Sunshine Daytona. It is right off of I-95. It's technically considered Ormond though. And we arrived on the last day of bike week for uh, Daytona. So we're gonna take you around the park and show you uh, what this park has to offer. It's slightly different than some of the other parks. We've watched some other reviews. Um, their experience is probably a little bit different than ours. So show them what we got. Yeah, we'll show you around. All right, come on. Meep, meep, row notes. our site we're in site 83 and this grass but they do have a concrete patio which is nice they do give every site a uh, picnic table sites are pretty long um, they can accommodate pretty much any size rig in here full hookup we have 50 amp water and sewer our neighbor here looks a little tight. That's because he kind of parked cockeyed and he put his tires on top of what the patio should be. So there's typically a little bit more room, more space in between RVs. But right next to us is an open site so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, other than that, pretty good sites. Some are all concrete and some are like grass slash gravel um, so let's show you guys around we're back on our trusted e-bikes and let's do it okay so this is us1 and up in the distance you can maybe see i-95 interchange and it's literally less than a half a mile from 95 you will find the entrance to Sunshine Holiday Daytona <laughs> to the right here grassy area is all tent when we first came in actually there were it's definitely right people yeah. still here in the tent area right and left actually 10. Yep. Yeah, so they do have big areas for tent camping. And of course it's primitive. No hookups whatsoever. Just bring your tent, put it up, and stay. air 
area for dumpsters and the trash. Okay, when you come into the entrance, you will see the uh, office and you will hang to the right. Straight ahead is your staging area for when you arrive. You can park your RV there. You can undo your car if you have a pull behind. And then go inside and check in. If you come after hours, they do have an after hour check-in. Uh, just check with the park before you arrive. not bad however <laughs> the, check out the sign yeah um, it's been closed pretty much the entire week that we've been here and it's weather still warm enough to be able to use the pool yeah when the first so day we got here it, it was, was open, open and, and then people were using right it. and then to top it all off take a look to your left that's the laundry room Please note the sign that also says closed. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can read it, but it does say facility temporarily closed. So we apologize for the inconvenience and that has been closed. The, the entire time we've the been entire here. The entire week we've been here. So we had to drive. So we drove uh, six to a, to seven miles to a local. Right. So about 20 minutes in the traffic here to go to the laundromat, which I understand is, it, you know, it's yeah, an inconvenience, but the, it's been closed the entire time. The pool's closed it's um and i haven't seen anybody working on it so it's you know it's it's kind of a downer because any of it i think it's maybe financial like the management here doesn't get the money to fix those things timely um it's a it's a nice property i mean the layout is good yeah the location is fine um the amenities are good mm-hmm yeah, it's a nice park. It's just a shame that, you know, when things break, things seem to be very tight here in terms of money. And, right. And ELS, the uh, property owners, seem to not be... Uh, not on the ball <laughs> with this property, at least. We I haven't know, had this problem where it's been closed for yeah. an entire week, maybe a day. You can't blame management, I don't think, because I'm sure they've reported it. And, but oh, if you, look, if you there's don't actually have, somebody starting to work on it. If you don't have the money, then you can't fix it. Yeah, somebody just walked in. Well, all right. Who course, knows? Who might knows be fixed what, when we drive away today. Who knows what they're doing? Yeah, when we leave tomorrow, it probably open again. We offer a beach volleyball area. One nice tennis court and also laid out for pickleball. This is or used to be a shuffleboard court. Um, it's just a little weak on the markings right now and it's covered with pine needles. But other than that, it's in good condition. Campground also offers a 18 hole mini golf or putt putt golf course. which we played and it was fun. Let's try that one more time. Yay! A nice little playground. This thing must be so much fun. Oh! Well, hello! Choo -choo. <laughs> Let's roll! <laughs> The 
park is divided into two circles basically with a road in the middle so this side is um, RVs with a few um, full-time RVers and then a few cottages and then the opposite side is a lot more full-timer um, what do they call those? Mobile, oriented, mobile, yeah, mobile manufactured home, homes, manufactured home trailers yeah. with some RV slots in between. So we're going to start on the RV side and everything goes in a circle. So there's four, like four roads that go in a circle, but then there's some that kind of branch out. So let's, let's show you. Of course this campground is pet friendly and they do have a good size dog park as well. In fact our campsite is straight through these trees right there is Onyx. So we were really close for Zoe to come to the dog park. Uh, they do have dog station with doggy bags. And this entire week, they didn't, ha they don't have a trash can here for, for doggy bags. So they actually just been laying on the ground this whole week and just piling up and nobody's picked it up. I think one of the campers this morning um, was kind enough to put a bucket with a, like a grocery bag in it and cleaned up all the doggy bags that have been laying on the ground and starting to really reek and clean this area up a little bit so that was very nice of him but the park has yet to send somebody out to clean up the bags okay right next to the dog park is a dump station for all the sites that only have electric and water Straight ahead is the uh, property storage area and right off of this road here is the area for uh, upper, uh, water, water, electric. water electric only, right? Sites, they still have a nice concrete pad for the picnic tables. Oh yeah, that's true. So every site pretty much has one and the picnic tables are in really good shape. We've gone some places where they're they, apart. They they're are. really... Yeah. The sites themselves really are not bad, yep. and it's quiet here. Yep. Well, I mean, now it is. Yeah. Well. During, but even on the last day, it wasn't. It wasn't. Well, bad. people have checked out already yeah. during Bike Week. I'm sure it's a different story. Well, the bikes you hear, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's very. Everybody's very friendly. It's very. It's very quiet. You don't even hear the interstate noise that bad. We're really close to 95, and it's not that loud. And if you weren't aware that. We are literally right next to Daytona Harley oh, yeah. Davidson, the so yeah. the big one. Yeah. So when bike week rolls around, this place, this campground just turns into yeah, it's Biker Central, Central Harley yeah. Central, because everybody just goes next door for their events, and there was a concert concerts. the other night. Yeah. A, a couple yeah, nights ago, there was a concert going on, and we yeah. could hear it from the campsite. It was a, like a reggae band. It was really nice. You could hear it pretty clearly. It was only from 5 to 8, Yeah, I think. no, very respectful. They have a noise ordinance. Yeah, yeah. so it was, so it was it early. Was so the two front rows are full concrete pull-through sites. There's a couple of open sites. Yeah, that's a nice one here. And then the yeah, and then the last two rows in each circle are, you know, your standard grass slash gravel sites. And in the distance, you see a couple of cottages. But all the sites in the first uh, two rows, I think. three rows are are mm -hmm. all full hookup, including sewer. Yeah. So after yes. that, it, it changes up. Campground also offers propane fill up. And then this road here 
leads you into the more full-time section of the property where there's predominantly trailers slash mobile homes. <laughs> I thought I saw a gator on the log. Oh boy. Well that's gotta that's gotta be one of the nicest manufactured homes I have ever seen in any of those campgrounds. This thing is super cool. This thing is a beaut. Outside of the property, or I guess these homes here. He is real. I didn't know he was real. I know it. Looked like... Where are you going? He's like, I'm getting away from you. I know it. It's almost Thanksgiving. Poor guy. I didn't know he was real. I thought he was just sitting there. Yeah. This is the uh, clubhouse for this section. video of Sunshine Daytona. Um, we have a separate video that's going to show you uh, some of the area around here. We had the privilege of being able to go out to the beach. We would definitely come back here. The park itself is clean. There's not really any issues. There's some stuff that's obviously a little bit older and we had the issue with the laundry in the pool, but we would come back. The location is really, really good mm -hmm. and we're only, what, six miles from Ormond Beach and maybe eight miles from Daytona Beach. And the beach is nice. The beach is really nice. Yeah. So um, Got a couple of nice parks out there where you can park and yeah. have access to the beach. Right on the intercoastal there's some nice parks and yeah. you'll see that in the other video but um, yeah the other video we're gonna show you the scenic loop trail which is about a total of 25 30 miles long we did it in our car. Yeah it's a so, historic trail for Florida. Yeah it goes so, back into old Florida. So don't want to miss that one and if you haven't subscribed to our channel this would be a good time to do that. Hit the little uh, bell so you can be notified of that video that when it comes out. Ring a bell, do the stuff. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> yep. And we will see you next week. Yeah. You can also check us out on our website at rotenotesrv.com. Got a lot of information for you on that site as well. Drive safe. Be careful. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.